Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0, and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all-important comic book review, so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy, and today, guys, we're talking about all-new X-Men, issue number four, that's right, fans, this is written by Dennis Hopeless, and the artwork is done by Mark Bagley, uh, Bagley's Recent projects had to do with Doc Green as his artwork continues to impress me, especially in this series here. This book features a lot around Laura, and uh, we get to see the details that go into this book and the way that she's drawn, and the facial expressions are absolutely priceless in this book. And as we get to see Laura here in this page uh, with the bullet hole in her actual cheek is awesome. So when Bagley has the space to draw, Again, the artwork is great and the detail is beautiful. However, this book can get a little wordy at times and there can be a lot on the page. So it's hard for him to get that detailed work uh, in there that he is very known for. All right, so here's another page with the, her on fire in here. So that's pretty cool too. So what was this issue about? Well, in this book, uh, in the beginning, we get to see a Laura and Warren go into Tokyo, Japan, Japan, defeating this demon gang. And uh, it opens up just very similar to all new, all different Wolverine as they are together in this issue. And uh, we get to see her be very headstrong and very stubborn. I mean, that's her type of character. And she's used to being independent and taking things on her own. And, uh, and she, you know, gets shot at. Uh, by these the, by these demon gangs and she winds up again catching herself on fire uh, you just see all kinds of things in this issue where she just goes head first now the X-Men are traveling along with these two and they're going on to these different missions but again she's the one that takes the grunt and all the damage for the team but this really upsets Warren uh, within the issue and and he feels that it's time for a talk and it's been a long time coming and he sits there and he goes you know what we are on an X-Men team we have to actually work together as a team yes I get it I get that you're strong and that you can regenerate and you have a healing factor but seeing you getting shot up with uh, the 200 bullets is a pleasure compared to seeing you get your skin burned off every other day and just because you can heal yourself doesn't mean that you can't get yourself in trouble or something bad can happen to you and so just as they're actually having this conversation here uh, we wind up seeing that the blob takes over a restaurant so he can have a meal I mean, he's all dressed up in some fancy suit. And once again, we get to see another villain dressed up in a three-piece suit. Like, what's going on, Marvel, with your villains? Why are you all dressing up as suits? We got King the Conqueror in a suit, Doctor Doom in a suit. Now we have the Blob in a suit. And that's kind of weird to look at, if you ask me. So, in this issue... Towards the end, right away, we see Laura once again. She's like, I got this. And Warren's like, this is what I'm talking about. She's like, call the other X-Men. She's like, no, I'm fucking Wolverine. And she winds up going into, you know, head first into this, into this battle. But, you know, Blob is big. He's big guy, but he's fast. And he grabs her by the head and slams her to the ground. And, uh, and she keeps on getting up and she, you know, is stubborn once again. And he keeps pounding her to the ground. And she sits there and she goes, you know, the blob says, there's one thing that you guys have in common. The guy never know, knew when to stay down. And she gets on pummeled and pummeled and pummeled to the ground. And Warren can only look down as he was thrown uh, against some rubble or whatever that was on top of him. And he's just screaming, Laura! So... It was crazy. Now, I don't know what's going to happen in the next issue, but I have a feeling somehow the X-Men are going to get this distress call and they're going to come save the day. And that's what's going to happen here. But nevertheless, what did I get out of this issue? I, I could have called it all new, all different Wolverine because that's what it felt like here. It didn't feel like an X-Men comic book, but I think that was the point to focus on Laura and to get her to feel or to get her to be part of the team. And that's what we're trying to get at here. And it really explores her personality. And I did like that there where some people may not know the type of personality that she has. So I had a lot of fun there and I like their relationship. I love Warren and uh, um, Laura's 
relationship in the book. I think it's it's really well done here. And I can't wait to see what happens in the future of this series. Uh, hopefully they will explore the other characters uh, in this book a little bit more. It seems like that's where it's trending. We focused on Cyclops in the first story arc. In this story arc, we're focusing on Laura. And I think it's kind of smart because even though we know who these characters are, I still feel that you sometimes have to show these characters and grow these characters in the series uh, to make you invest in them as a team. And I, I think this is where this book might shine. So I think Dennis Hopeless is doing a good job here. This is what he did on Avengers Arena. It got you to, it, he reintroduced these characters so you felt that these people were a team and that they'll work together. So again, hopefully it continues on this track. I really enjoyed this story. I give it a four and a half out of five stars. Would have loved to seen some of the other team members here, but I did love seeing Laura in the story so again guys four and a half out of five stars for me in the comments below tell me what you thought of all new x-men and guys until the next comic book review check out comic book corner old school check out comic frontline which is my group channel you can also check me out on facebook as you can give me a like and fans as always thank you for watching and this is mike spider slayer signing off take care guys bye